Today is, according to my clock, it is October the 28th. It's a Friday. It is 7.25 at night here in West Michigan. It is 71 degrees inside this dining room, this hermit hut, this refuge from the storm. Got my old Bible here. First of all, I thought I'd do is uh, get my diary ready for next month. We have October here. I will put this down in the lower level on this coming Monday. Today I ended on page Eight hundred and eighty-seven. So tomorrow, on October the 29th, 2016, I will be on 890. So yeah, I got my November diary here. I, I rip it out of here. There's December, the last year of 2016. So I got the November out. I have to cut it so it'll fit into my folder. So usually I trim the uh, sides here. Trim the sides so it'll fit inside my folder. So then I do that. Once I cut this out, I uh, write, I'm going to use black as my folders for, oh, I didn't put in my today's last entry. I'm on page 888. I got to put that in my diary. I don't know why I didn't do that. So tomorrow I'm on 889. That's right. Anyway, so then I have my folders here, and then I put on the folders the month. So next month is November, November, two thousand sixteen. See, put that on there, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, I've been doing this as long as I can remember. Writing down the month. And, and then once I get the two folders ready, I put this in here. So it'll be all ready if I'm still in the land of the living. I haven't gone home to be with Jesus. Or I'm in this in paradise waiting for the final resurrection of the dead. The rapture of the saints. Homecoming. The marriage feast of the Lamb. So there it is. It's all ready for next next month. I don't know why I didn't put that in there today. Must have gotten sidetracked. So I will put this in here. Page eight hundred and eighty-eight will go in my October two thousand sixteen diary. So there we go, it's all ready. So tomorrow, if I don't wake up, I got my house in order. I hate leaving my diary pages out in case I croak during the night. So, so yeah, I got November already. November the 1st is next Tuesday. So yeah, got my diary ready. Got my 
So what I've been reading, well, I think since my last video, I got I mentioned I'm getting a, some books in the mail. I got this uh, book, Paul's New Perspectives Charting a Soteriological Journey. That means salvation. Soteriological. That's a that's a th systematic theology, the doctrine of soteriology, which is like salvation. Yeah, this is a, a new book by Garwood P. Anderson, Paul's New Perspective, Charting a Sergiological Journey. I've been reading this uh, in the mornings, last couple of mornings. I'm on page 89. Uh, uh, let's see. There's uh, 397 pages of text. So I'm really enjoying this. I, I'm really into Pauline theology, or the the theology of the of the Apostle Paul. So I've been enjoying reading this the last couple of mornings, and in the afternoons I'm still reading the Village, the history of Greenwich Village. I'm really really enjoying this. Uh, so I've been reading that. I also been reading. I think I mentioned this. I've been reading uh, the Castaway Lounge, a novel by John Bollard. He has a new novel coming out. This is his first novel that came out in 2015. So I've been reading that. I'm halfway through it. It's a, it's a crime fiction. It's kind of gritty, kind of violent kind of dark, but it's a break. So I've been reading those things primarily. Now the other book I got in the mail that I mentioned was a French writer. This is it. This is Jean Cartou, A Life by Claude Arnaud, or R-L-A-R-N-A-R-L. -A it's translated from the French by Lauren Elkin and Charlotte Mandel. This thing's, a, this thing's really a booger, it's massive. But uh, I really into the history of French literature, especially 20th century modernism, Dadaism, and so I got this. And if you want to read about that time period of Jean Cartou, I got these two books to show you. The Charm Circle, Gertrude Stein and Company by James L. R. Mellon. R. James R. Mellon, he wrote a really good biography of Nathaniel Hawthorne that I read a couple years ago. This James R. Mellon, if you're into Nathaniel Hawthorne, I have his biography by George R. Mellon downstairs that I read a couple years ago. I found it at some thrift store. But this, he wrote this, The Charm Circle, Gertrude Stein and Company. It quotes here the New York Times book review, a superb, fascinating portrait of Gertrude Stein, her glittering circle, including Hemingway, Fitzgerald, uh, Alice B. Tokas, Picasso, Matisse, and Cezanne. A meticulous and loving reconstruction of an extraordinary time, quoted by New York Times Book Review. Says here in the back, uh, through the Paris salon of Gertrude Stein, past the luminous talents of an of an heir, Pas Pascal, Hemingway, Matisse, Cato, Fitzgerald, Apollinaire. With her devoted friend Alice B. Tokas, Gertrude Stein presided over a table heavy with good food, alive with sparkling conversation and charm circle. James R. Mellon has recreated this glorious menu. The fascinating woman who dominated it, his compelling narrative is rich with insight into both Stein's celebrated career as a writer and her enduring relationship with Alice B. Toka spending the years 1903 when she first came to Paris 
to her last days at the close of the first World War II. Charmed Circle is a penetrating and lively picture of the literary giant in her exciting world. So, and then I also got out uh, this book that is called The Banquet Years, The Origins of the Anti-Guard in France, 1805 to First World War by Robert Shalek. So yeah, these are good books to read along with this one. Uh, yeah, he was a very, uh, Jean Chatou was, uh, he was a, a novelist, a poet, playwright, director, filmmaker, and designer, and he, he knew Picasso, Proust, Hemingway, uh, Transkaski, Tennessee Williams, he knew all the the greats there. So yeah, also when I was reading uh, reading The Village, it mentioned uh, this book here, Let's Now Praise Famous Men, James Agee and Walker Evans. This, uh, it seems that James Agee passed through the, the village back there in the time when like in the time, like 1936, and it mentions this book. And my brother and his writing partner, Del Malkinridge, did a retake of the uh, of this book, and they won a Pulitzer. And their book was called "Their Children After Them." The De legacy lives now. Praise famous men James A. G. Walker Evans and the rise and fall of cotton in the South. So. If you're interested, I'll put these books, I'll mention them in the section below. So what else? I, I got in the mail today a CD by, this is by uh, Yusseret Shrines of, Par of Paralysis. And my wife bought me a, brought home a book today. This is a memoir. She's an Iranian uh, modern uh, artist. I can't pronounce her name. It's down here. It's just, I can't even pronounce it. But this is the, her memoir, A Mirage Garden, a memoir by, I don't know, I can't, Farman, Farmanian, I can't pronounce it. But I, I was reading in here that there was a time when she was in Grimmauld Village and she met William Cooting and Jack Pollock and some other artists back in the 50s. I, I went to, th other night we were out for dinner because our kitchen's torn up. Stopped at Salvation Army on the way home and found these used books. This is Julep by Jim Harrison, a novel. This is a novel by Philip Roth. The Humbling. This is a crime novel by Ross McDonald, The Dry The Drowny, The Drowning Pool. And this is a uh, biography of William Lloyd Garrison. It's called All on Fire, William Lloyd Garrison and the Abolition of Slavery. He was a very famous uh, 19th century abolitionist. He uh, He, what was the word, he, he was a champion against slavery. It looks brand new. I got it for like 60 cents. And then I found this big book for 60 cents for our American West collection, the new encyclopedia of the American West. So I found those that as we were coming home after going out for dinner, at some thrift store. So these are the books I found. Books that came in the mail, books I'm reading. Yeah, my brother, he did, uh, he went back and he revisited the uh, children that are photoed in this book here. He went back to find out how they're doing, if their lives have gotten any better since 
the Great Depression. So he did this a number of years ago. And so, yeah, I've been primarily reading The Village. Uh, I'm, right now I'm on the renaissance of the, of the Greenwich Village, which took place after the Second World War. Money was flowing in. It was the 50s. There was a renaissance, and you have the rise of what we call the New York School of Poets, the Beats, Ginsburg, William Burroughs, Jack Kerouac. See, there's a whole chapter here called The Beat Generation. So that's what's going on in my book world. I'm hoping your book world has been... What is today? Today is Friday. I might call these my Friday reads. Tomorrow I volunteer at the local library used bookstore and I'll come home and probably watch college football. Sunday, I don't know. Monday, who knows. So I suppose I will close. Thank you for the new subscribers. Feel free to ask me questions, any comments. Until next time, bye.